What is up guys? Player One Gaming here. Two big news here. The first one here, well it's not, no, this isn't necessarily big news. The second news I'm going to get to, because uh, that's huge news, but Michigan. Uh, the AP polls just released. Um, Michigan is ranked number 14 in the AP Top 25 poll. Football's almost here in the AP Top 25 poll was just released. And there's Rashawn Gary, the man himself. Um, they were they released at noon on on uh today, and the Wolverines, Michigan Wolverines, made the cut, landing it on the list at number fourteen. So they posted it on Twitter, uh, Michigan football, the official page. Now Michigan's rivals ranked higher. Wisconsin going to be a four. Ohio State at five. Penn State at ten. Michigan State at eleven. Notre Dame at twelve. Now I'm actually surprised that Ohio State is under Wisconsin. I am really surprised about that. Like, I, I would not do that. Like, I don't think that's right. I would say Wisconsin, eight or nine, maybe seven. I would say Ohio State, like, two or three. Could be number one, really. But, uh, uh, yeah, I don't agree with that. I think they should be flipped. Uh, I do think Wisconsin should be in second. But Ohio State should not be one ranked even higher. Or, I mean, Wisconsin should not be ranked one higher than Ohio State. I just don't agree with that. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. I know this is just, you know, this is before the season starts. We don't really know for sure. And it really doesn't mean much. Uh, but, uh, and another thing. We can't lose any of these games. At least we can't lose all of these games. We can't lose all of these games. Not not any of these games. We can lose maybe one or two of these. It's fine. Like if we if we can beat three out of the five here, I'd be happy about that. It, it, depending on who which teams they are. If we can beat if we can beat Notre Dame, we can beat Michigan State, and we can beat either Penn State or Wisconsin. I'll be fine. I'm not expecting us to beat Ohio State, so I'm not gonna say. Oh, uh, I, I, we have to beat Ohio State, or I'm just not gonna like Michigan football anymore. That's not the, gonna be the case. We, that wouldn't be the case even if we all, lost all these games. But we cannot lose all of these games. I would probably kill myself. I'm kidding. I would not kill myself, but I would be, oh gosh, I would be so depressed for a long time if we lost all these games. But uh, yeah, Wisconsin, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, Notre Dame, all ranked higher. Uh, this is actually what the rankings we're going to see during the Michigan Notre Dame game. So right next to the, our, it's going to say number fourteen Michigan at number twelve Notre Dame. So that's what you're going to see for game uh, one, week one on September first at seven thirty. I'm actually going to game day. I'm going to game day. In, it's in. They're having week one of college game day in South Bend, Indiana, for Notre Dame and Michigan. I will be there. And I will try to live stream. I'm not guaranteeing that it'll, it'll happen. Maybe I'll record a video. Maybe I'll live stream. I'll try my best. But I don't know. I don't know at this point. It seems unlikely, but I'll try. But I will be at game day. I won't be going to the game. I'll just be at game day. And I'll come back home and I'll watch the game at home on TV. Uh, because I... And my grandpa was offered tickets by a friend for him... Uh, and, or for my grandpa and him and I to all go to all three of us go watch the game but uh uh he, he and he is going to the game but my grandpa and I don't feel like uh we want to do that it's in Notre Dame Stadium so I, I don't feel like doing that okay so this is they're just saying exactly what I said the poll doesn't mean much it's the ranking you'll see on the screen when Michigan plays Notre Dame in less than two weeks a win against Notre Dame would likely put Michigan in the top 10 I didn't even think about that I didn't even think about that 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 could put the put us in the top 10 uh, but that just depends on how good uh, Notre Dame is uh, at the end of it or how good they look I which they're gonna be good I, I think they're gonna be pretty good uh, Wisconsin, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan State coming in higher than Michigan is no surprise, and they'll have they all, all had a better years than the Wolverines twenty seventeen. By the end of the year, this top twenty five will look drastically different. That, that's another thing; it will look a lot different. Uh, the only question is, will Michigan rise up the polls or fall down them? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. If fourteen. To be honest with you, if you want my honest opinion, I think fourteen's too high. It's either a little too high or it's just perfect. I don't know. 
I, I don't think we we're t- a top ten team. Our defense is a top five team. Our team as a whole probably not. But fourteen, I would say, is good for now. Uh, we'll see as the as the you know as this uh, as, as this just continues on. The season continues on. We'll see, you know it will definitely change. So you know. One of these teams, Michigan, Notre Dame, will be dropping after week one. One of them will. We know that for a fact. One of them will be dropping. One of them will rise. One of them will drop. So let's move on to the next story. So as you guys can see here, uh, the second news we've got here is Jim Harbaugh has confirmed it. He says Shea Patterson will be Michigan's starting quarterback. And this is actually surprising to me that he told us now uh, I didn't think he would until, you know, I didn't think he would say anything about it and we would just find out, you know, in the first game of the season. Uh, but as of four hours ago, we have n- we do know who will start. Um, uh, Jim Harbaugh let the cat out of the bag. Uh, what, let's see, get past the ad. Michigan's head coach told a group of supporters during a luncheon in Ann Arbor on Monday that the team's plan is to start junior Shea Patterson at quarterback when the Wolverines visit Notre Dame on September 1st. Uh, that's, that's him right there in the back. Um, the free press confirmed Harbaugh's comments with the person who was at the event, Michigan football spokesman Dave Abluf or a bluff or whatever it is, also confirmed the news. As Harbaugh told Alums at the M Club of uh, Ann Arbor's Monday luncheon held at Weber Weber's Inn in Ann Arbor. Harbaugh told the team his decision earlier in the day, Monday. Patterson, who transferred to Michigan from Ole Miss during the offseason, beat out redshirt sophomore Brandon Peters, redshirt freshman Dylan McCaffrey, and the true freshman Joe Milton. Uh... And that's more there. Michigan football, Shea Patterson, among ESPN's top 50 players for 2018. I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, Michigan State football tops Michigan preseason AP poll, which we just talked about. Uh, He passed against Alabama in 2017. A week ago during his only fall camp meeting with reporters, Harbaugh said he hadn't made a decision with with regard to his starting quarterback, only saying he wanted to make up his mind sooner rather than later. He maintained that there wasn't a great deal of separation between his quarterbacks at the time, claiming that the heightened competition brought on by Patterson's arrival had increased the level of play throughout the room. That position has been very competitive, probably one of or our most competitive position battles going on. Harbaugh said at the time, and like I said, none of them have given in. None of them have dropped off, so it rages on. Uh, that must be him. Oh, that's a video. I don't want to watch it. Uh, that process has been completed, and while it comes as little surprise, this is the first time since taking the job at Michigan that Harbaugh has publicly named a starting quarterback before his team has taken the field for its season opener. The Wolverines did not formally name a starter in 2015, though most believe the job was Jake Rudox throughout. Wilton Spate beat out John O'Corn and Shane Morris during the final days of camp in 2016, and Spate edged O'Corn just before the start of the 2017 season a year ago. Now, Michigan has two full weeks to, pr- to rep Patterson with the starting offense. Oh, gosh. Really? Really? It's only two weeks away? Come on, man. You need to slow down time. Um... With 10 starts, 3,139 career passing yards, and 23 touchdowns, along with 12 interceptions, Patterson has more major college playing experience than his three competitors combined. Peters is the only other quarterback on the roster who has seen game action, throwing for 672 yards, four touchdowns, and two interceptions in six appearances last season. After opting to transfer to Michigan in December, Patterson, who eventually won a lengthy appeal for immediate eligibility, from the NCAA, was able to take part in all 15 of the Wolverine spring sessions. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, Michigan players and staffers have raved about his mobility and overall pocket awareness, both with the Wolverine's traditional offense and any speed wrinkles that the team has put in place over the course of the past year. Patterson's biggest hurdle in spring was familiarizing himself with his surroundings. 
Every day is a work in progress. I definitely feel comfortable and I have great coaches helping me, Patterson said back in April. But the reputation, reputation, repetition. Oh, sorry. I keep getting interrupted. We got a lot of reps and I feel comfortable with it. I feel like being able to adapt is one of my qualities. I can get along with anybody, but the guys did a great job of taking me in and making me feel comfortable. I mean, again, another good thing. Asked last week what was the biggest difference, be, uh, what what the biggest difference was between Patterson play play then and now. Harbaugh's answer was simple: he's more comfortable with everything. Uh, and a result, Michigan's ready to ride with him as its starting quarterback, having a grasp, having a grasp of the offense number one time number one. Wait, what? Having a grasp of the offense number one time on task, really learning the the nuance of the offense. Harbaugh said, that's greatly improved since the spring. So we're getting a lot of, we're hearing a lot of good things, but it's really all just talk at this point. So we don't know until the, it's, you know, we're out there. But this is the video. This is my quick update on the season and how it's, or uh, just two big pieces of news. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.